welcome to kharutai channel we are solving the we are solving the exercises of depreciation chapter and in this video we are going to solve practical problem 2 that is on page number 244 question 2 on 1st jan 2017 sai industries nagpur purchased a machine costing rupees 165000 and spent rupees 15000 for its installation charges so, to summarize this question, on 1st Jan 2017, they have bought a machinery, they have purchased one machinery for 1,65,000 and as you know, installation charges or any other incidental charges, we add it to the cost of asset. So, 15,000 will be added to the cost of asset. This will give us 1,80,000. The estimated life of the machine is 10 years. So, life is 10 years and the scrap value at the end of its life would be 30,000. So, scrap value is 30,000. So, when life and scrap value is given and percentage is not given, we use the SLM formula to find the depreciation amount. And we have sold this asset on 1st October 18, 1st October 18, the entire machine was sold for 1,50,000. These are the details for sold, we will use S. And what they have asked, they want a machinery account, depreciation account for 16, 17, 17, 18 and 18, 19. For 3 years, they want both machinery and depreciation account. So, with this working, we will make a working note. Working note 1, calculation of depreciation per annum. We will use this formula, depreciation as per SLM, method is cost of asset minus scrap value divided by useful life of asset, which is in years. So, we have this summary of question with us. What is the cost of asset? Cost of asset is 1,80,000. minus scrap value is 30,000 divided by useful life which is 10 years. This will give us 180 minus 30 is 150 and 150 divided by 10 is 15,000. So, 15,000 is per annum depreciation. So, the depreciation amount is 15,000 per annum and with this information we can start making next working note, working note 2, calculation of depreciation on machinery as per SLM method, particulars and rupees. The asset was purchased on 1st April 2017, purchased at 1,80,000, correct? This is the amount, cost of asset. Then depreciation for FI, the period is Jan 17. So, January, February, March will be the end of the year. So, the financial year will be 16, 17, right? Jan, Feb, March. March 17 is the end of financial year, 16, 17. The depreciation amount will be 15,000, but the asset is used only for 3 months. So, the depreciation amount will be 15,000 per annum into 3 divided by 12. So, 15,000 into 3 divided by 12. And this is 3750. 3750. And 180,000 minus 3750 is 176,250. 176,250. This is WDV as on 31st March 2017. With this, first year's working is done. In second year, 17, 18, there is no transaction. In 1819, we have sold this asset. So, in 1718, there is no other transaction. We will just calculate the depreciation 
depreciation for financial year 17 18 this will be for full year so 15000 then wdb at the end of second year will be as on 31 3 18 uh, 6 minus 5 1 2 5 0 6 1 lakh 61,250 less depreciation for financial year 18-19. Now here you have to be careful. The sale date is 1st October 2018. That means the asset was used for only 6 months from April, May, June, July, August, September. On 1st October the asset was sold. So the depreciation will be calculated for 6 months. The calculation will be 15,000 per annum into 6 divided by 12 that will be 7500 let's put this calculation in brackets so from 161 to 50 minus 7500 we get 153750 this is wdv as on 1st october 2018 we need this wdv to find out profit or loss from the sale of asset so after this we will do working note 3 profit or loss profit or loss from sale of asset the sale amount is rupees 150000 150000 from that we will reduce the wdv value wdv as on date of sale that is 1st October 2018 that is 1,53,000 right 1,53,750 so the sale amount here we can see that the sale amount is less than the WDV value that is we have received less amount than the book value so there is a loss of 3,750 loss on sale of asset so all the amounts are ready now from this working note 2 and working note 3 it will be easy to do our posting posting in machinery account and depreciation account that is what the sum requires so we will open machinery account and depreciation account we have this working on 1st jan 2017 we have purchased the asset we will debit machinery account on 1st Jan 2017 to bank account. We have paid through bank. How much? 1,80,000. Throughout the year, there is no other purchase or sale. At the end of the year, 31st March 17, we will pass a depreciation entry. By depreciation account, the amount is 3750. 3750. 1 lakh 80 is done. And this is 3750. So at the end of the year, we will balance the books. We will close the books. 1 lakh 80 and 1 lakh 80. And at the end of the year, balancing by balance close down. This amount will be 1 lakh 80,000 minus 3750. This will be 176. 250 correct and this we will carry forward on next day 1st april 2017 to balance brought down 176 250 this is for asset account now in depreciation account in first year the entry will be 31st march 2017 we debit the expenses so depreciation account debit to machinery account we have credited the machinery account and debited the depreciation account the amount is 3750 so at the year end we will transfer the depreciation amount to profit and loss account by pnl account 3750 with this the books depreciation account will be closed with no balance nil balance this is first year now in second year there is no purchase or sale entry just one depreciation entry 
at the year end. So, 31,318 by depreciation account, the amount is 15,000. 15,000. And we'll close the books. We'll get a balance of 1,61,250. 1,76,250 minus 15,000. We will get 1,61,250. Correct? So, this will be the closing balance. Buy balance close down and next day we will carry forward the balance to balance brought down. The amount is 1,61,250. This is the closure of machinery account. Now in depreciation account, we have this 15,000 depreciation at the year end. 31,318 to machinery account. Depreciation account we are debiting to machinery account, the amount is 15,000 and there is no other entry. So, while closing the books, depreciation account will be transferred to PNL account as depreciation is a nominal account. We transfer all the balances of nominal account to PNL account to find the profit or loss of the business. So, there will be no balance. So, second year books are now closed and now in third year, there is sale of asset, there is loss on sale of asset and there is depreciation till the date of sale. So, first we will pass depreciation entry 7500, 7500 on 1st October 2018 on the date of sale by depreciation, depreciation account debit to machinery account. This is depreciation entry and then after that we will pass entry from sale of machinery. While selling the machinery, we got sale amount and, and from selling the asset we got a loss of 3750. So, that we have to book here. On 1st October 18th, we received amount in our bank. So, bank account debit, the amount is 1,50,000. 1,50,000. And we got a loss, we debit the losses. So, by loss on sale of asset, sale of machinery, we are debiting 3750. This way, the total amount is 153,750, that is the WDB amount. This amount is going out of the business. With this, the entries of machinery account is done. So, we can close the books. 1,61,250, 1,61,250 and there is no more asset, so the account is nil, there is no balance. You can cross confirm on your Calci, 7,500 plus 1,50,000 plus 3,750, that is 161,250, so the account is tallied. Now we can pass depreciation entries for last year on 1st October 18, 1st October 18 to machinery account, depreciation account debit to machinery account, the amount is 7500. The machinery is sold between the years, so we are calculating depreciation before selling of the asset, so on that date we are passing the depreciation entry, but transfer entry that we will do at the year end only, as we are closing the books at the year end only. So, here the date will be 31st March 2018, oh this will be 18, so this will be 19 and then the transfer entry will be profit and loss account is debited to depreciation account. With this, the balance will become nil, the books will be closed. So, what did we do in this sum? First, we calculated the depreciation amount per annum using the SLM formula, using the formula cost of asset minus scrap value divided by useful life. Then, we calculated the depreciation for 3 years and then did the working for, for finding the profit or loss from sale of asset. We prepared machinery account and depreciation account for 3 years. So, this is question 2 of practical problems.
that's it if you find this video useful please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe for the future notifications